handwriting. <laughs> hey, <laughs> welcome to Thirsty Amigos. Thanks for joining us on this episode. I've got a special episode for you this week. Uh, of course, me amiga Gina is joining me. So <laughs> Thirsty Amiga Gina is here. Um, we're going to be doing a whiskey for the first time. And uh, we picked this one because Gina and me by getting there is a huge F1 fan. So she, she loves the F1 racing. Um, who's your favorite driver? My favorite driver is Charles. Okay. But I have three that I follow that I, I really like. So who, who are they? So there's Charles and Charles. then there's Nico okay. Hulkenberg. And then there's Daniel Ricardo. Oh, okay. yeah. well, I like Daniel Ricardo. Yeah. My driver is Botas. Botas. That's why I like him. <laughs> I like him a lot, which he ties into this whiskey that right. we're doing. This, this whistle pig. Uh, they, um, this is part of their, um, their, uh, legend series that they collaborated with Alfa Romeo, the F1 team. What's well, not Alfa Romeo team this year, is it? No, it's steak, right? That was... Yeah. Okay. Gina knows way more than I do. Yeah. So correct me if I go off the track this year. <laughs> so this was last year's, it's a single barrel, um, whiskey and it has a, um, some, Oh, we want throwbacks to the team, the Alfa Romeo team that they did. And uh, we'll cover that when we come back. But uh, we're going to show you a little bit of video and slideshow uh, of our trip to F1 race in Las Vegas. We went last year in November, right? Right. For the first Formula One race. Yeah. First in Las Vegas. Yeah. So it was a great time. We had fun. Oh, it was a lot of fun. Yeah. It so was so much fun. We got a little bit of video and uh, pictures of our trip there. And, um, so, and, the, and yeah. this is the first race we've ever been to. We had never oh, been to a, a Formula One race before, but right. since it was so close to us, since we live in Colorado, it was. So yeah, it was, it was easy. perfect for us. Yes. And yeah. Gina's been watching it for years, the race. And this is our first race to go. So let's, let's go. It's Vegas. Yeah. We like Vegas. Yeah. Who doesn't like Vegas? And it tied into this, so let's, um, so here's the uh, trip real quick. We'll be right back, and then we'll taste this uh, uh, whiskey. Yeah. Hey, welcome back. Thanks for joining us on this slideshow of our Vegas trip. I did a time lapse. We left really early, didn't we? So early. It was early, early in the morning when we uh, left DIA, so but, uh, it was a cool, it was like the one of the smoothest, most quickest trips we have ever had through the airport. Once we got to Vegas, so they had, they were all ready for the race. They had a lot of these huge helmets uh, decorated all the concourses and all the baggage claims right there. You can see how they were big. They were really neat. Decorating. They were. And then uh, throughout there, as we made our way to our hotel, they had the F1 Tequila Volcan. Um, in the airport as in well. In the airport, yeah, which I tried to get it, but I didn't go back. And then So we walked to see where our seats were going to be so we were in the mgm um or the mirage yes the mirage grandstand grandstand so we were right up see this you can see the palm tree we were straight up there fifth row right down there at the bottom is where we were so we had great seats yes and then uh throughout the morning we walked around and saw a lot of the they had a lot of cars on display uh throughout the um this is at oh the venetian i think Right. And they had the official store there too, the F1 store, put on by American Express. <laughs> right. So you got a perk if you're an American Express. There it is, right there is the entrance. Had a huge line. That line was long, but it went pretty quick. But once you were in there, it was packed. It, it was, was shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> yeah, it was. It was pretty crazy. We spent a good amount of money there, which is got some good <laughs> stuff. Right. And they had a car in display on there too. If you're an American Express holder, you could go in this little special area and uh, view like a. I don't know, garage, would you say? It yeah. was like set up for like a garage before the race. Yeah. No touching, just viewing. Yeah, right. Yeah, you couldn't interact with it <laughs> at all. And then here's my guy's Botas's car, number 77. This is when it was Alfa Romeo. They had one on a display at Aria, I think it was. Right. Is where this was. And they had a, some cool cars there. They did. They had all the Alfa Romeros out. And uh, yeah, they were pretty. It was all I could do to try to jump in there and fit in there. But. <laughs> Security was everywhere, but right. it's a beautiful car, though. I really like that one. And then they had some of their helmets, too, from some of their other races that they did, which was really cool. And then here's another view of it. And then they had some of their models of their production cars that you could right. 
try out and buy if you wanted to. And then MGM Grand had a car in there uh, the, on the casino floor there, too. Right. Um, I, I don't think it was, a, was. I don't think it was an actual. No. After seeing the other ones, it was kind of put together. It wasn't as big either, huh? Right. That was like the smallest one of all of them. It gave you an idea, but yeah, it wasn't. Even the tires look small. Right. So here's the view uh, looking down the strip from where our seats were. And uh, it was pretty cool to see the cars go by there. And then here's a view looking up the strip or down the strip. That's looking south. No, north. I right. got turned around. Yeah. <laughs> Tor <laughs> towards the Mirage. So we were right across from the Paris, right? The Venetian. No, the Venetian, yeah. Yes. And they had food. Here's our food area, which was nice. Our ticket included, uh, or a pass included, all you could eat food, drink. Right. I don't need this. Do this. And then here's the sphere. So it was, it was cool. Like Gina says, we were real close to the action there. At, right. At the car. That was awesome. And that sphere looks fake. It looked weird just sitting right. there. No clouds or anything. There's nothing to put it, put it in perspective. So it was kind of cool to just watch it do a couple little things for F1. And then the monorail was all tagged with F1 stuff. You can see it going there. They had advertised everywhere that the race was here and or was coming and it was here. Right. And then there, there's part of the train, or the monorail, sorry, that was all decked out. And then here's where the Shoei Bar was. This is the sign. This is um, outside where, um, who, who does the Shoei? Daniel Ricardo. Daniel, Daniel Ricardo. So this is a tribute to what he does, where he drinks out of his shoe when he makes podium, right? He pours right. the champagne in there and drinks yes. out of it. Oh, my yes. gosh. And this was in front of the... Bellagio. That's right, yeah, which is really cool. So uh, we got in line at the right time. I think we were four or five people ahead of us. And right. you could buy the regular shoe, which we have. We'll see it. And then the limited edition red one. And here we are with our shoey. It's a little margarita in a little plastic cup. And then there's Gina drinking out of it. She took the lid off and did it the traditional way. <laughs> right. And you can see the sign. It was a really cool little thing that we did. Right. I thought it was pretty nice awesome. little experience. Yeah, here's some more uh, car racing. But this is actual race. Let's listen. Yeah, so that was the race. Everyone's screaming for Charles. Here's the exit and the entrance when we were leaving. And it was a great experience. I had a, I had fun. Thanks for suggesting that we go and we did it. So Yeah. It was awesome. It was fun. And then at the end of the night, they did fireworks. So here's some fireworks. It was pretty crazy. They were real loud. So enjoy.
Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, welcome back. Hey, thanks for sticking around for this tasting. I hope you enjoyed our little, um, uh, what do you want to call it, a memory lane of our trip down to Las Vegas for the first F1 race there. Right. It was fun. It was a lot of good times. Yes. And um, so so this whiskey, uh, Whistle Pig, put this out for the um, F1 racing team, Alfa Romeo. They uh, pick, it's a single barrel, but they had a few barrels on the video that they show on YouTube. And uh, they, uh, supposedly the Alfa Romeo team picked them out. They went to the wind tunnel there where they test their cars mm -hmm. and they put them in the wind tunnel. And then it said it did, um, they put them under G force stresses at the distillery. I don't know how they did that. <laughs> But they said they did that. So they put G-Force on it, which it says G-Force on this. Right. Too. They didn't say how much G's. I couldn't find that out. But that's, I don't know. I'll try to find that out. If I, if I do, I'll put it in the description. But uh, some of the callbacks here for this uh, single barrel it does have the Alpha Romeo team. And you'll see this in the video. Uh, F1 team, G-Force finish is what it says. Wind tunnel tested in, uh, in yeah, wherever that is. <laughs> you don't you can't no you, uh, a i can't read it well, okay i don't have my you'll uh, see it in the video but yes yeah i don't know anyway so this <laughs> uh this, this single barrel is 96.77 proof okay so that 77 uh is a, a call to uh, botas's um number he's number 77 uh is his number and then this has been uh, has uh, oolong tea uh, finished with oolong tea, which is a call to his teammate who is Zhou Guan Yu. Zhou Guan Yu, <laughs> yes. So, so they got a little bit of both of their uh, their the teammates' uh, um, stuff in here, and then this is pretty unique. I don't think this they've done one with a tea before. And definitely in a um, uh, wind tunnel and all that stuff. So right. I don't know if they're going to do one this year or not. We'll see. Uh, they just might. Because I think this is pretty popular. Uh, retail on this one was around 50 bucks. So you can still find it. I still see it at some of the uh, places around town. And then um, when we were in Vegas, we almost bought a bottle. They saw us coming in Vegas. Yeah. How much? 100 bucks? Right. What was that one place? One place at uh, MGM. Oh my God, suddenly. There we go. <laughs> I know. This is not. So, um, yeah, shop around. Don't pay more than 50 bucks for it. Because that's its retail price. And that's how much. I should have pre owned done this. Well, we haven't tried it. So that's good. We yeah, can we can tell didn't. we didn't reseal. <laughs> right. This is, this is a first time try on this one. So. Yeah, so 96.77 troops. So that's going to be pretty strong. Ooh, a natural cork. Nice. That's a good sign. Let's pour a little here. This color looks awesome. Ooh. Okay, as I pour it everywhere. <laughs> Okay, so uh, let's set this brief for just a second. But let's okay. talk about. So when we were there, uh, you saw that we were drinking out of the shoey, right? Which is who? Who kind of does that on the podium? Daniel Ricardo. Daniel Ricardo. So yeah. this is a throw him, and uh, in that uh, picture, in our, or in the pictures, you saw that where they were doing that at. Other racers do it, but oh, does do they? Oh, okay. But he's like one that. I think ma made it the most okay. popular. He's the one I re remember seeing him do it over the years. You're right. Like, what is he doing? I was like, no, right. I would not do that at all. Right. But yeah, they this they had these out there. We actually got lucky. We got a left and a right. Right. Pair, and it's like it's a mini shoe, which is pretty cool. It was made when when we got them. They were um, showing video of how they were made, oh, and who right. made them, and they're all numbered, and they have a cup in here where you can put a straw and you can drink out of it. Has a lanyard, pretty awesome. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little souvenir that they had, and some of the other things. Um, in the video, so we talked about the storefront and the store in there. This is if you were an American Express holder, you got this radio, mm -hmm. which was tuned to the live feed, right? Right. Yeah, we only got one. Gina got to listen to it. Right. 
but uh, it was pretty neat because she could tell when they were having issues there at the um, qualifying, right? Right. Qualifying. It was it was practice. Practice. Sorry. Yeah. At P one, is that when they had the manhole cover reach up and yes, hit Carlos? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. So and she knew that happened because it didn't happen on the stretch that we were at. So she knew that that was going on. So it was pretty cool. And then some of the merch that we got right uh, at that store is really cool. Packed. The store is packed. Right. It's crazy. All right. Let's try this. Okay. Whistle Pig G Force single barrel 96.77 proof Alpha Romeo with Oolong. Oolong tea. Is that right? If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. It has tea in it. Oh, that smells good. It does smell good. Sweet. You can tell it's a, a whiskey. It's got that like a cinnamon, a caramel. Oh, that smells good. The color is beautiful on it, too. All right, let's try this. All right. Salud. Salud, everybody. Ooh, that's like, it's really oh, sweet. It is really sweet. It's smooth. Yeah, that's, it really coats your tongue. It's the viscosity of it. It's really, really nice. Mm -hmm. it really coats your tongue. Really sweet. Not candy sweet, but sweet where it's, um, doing that tea. I think the tea is what I'm tasting on the finish. There's that nice herbaceous tea flavor on yeah. it. That's good. That's oh, good. I like that. That's a, that's a good drinking whiskey right there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we may have to get more. Right. It, 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 it oh, has a really good flavor to it. It's nice yeah. and warm. It's warming. It's warm. Yeah. It drinks yeah. its proof. Yeah. But it doesn't, it's, it's not, not over overpowering. It doesn't burn at the front. Just as it swallows, it does. It has a warming effect. On yeah. It. It's, yeah, that's really good. Yeah. Ooh, that finish is long. It is. I get like a cinnamon creme brulee, mm -hmm. vanilla. That's really tasty. And that makes you keep going back for more. Right. Wow. Good job. Yeah, I'd, I'd recommend this one uh, for sure. And we got a couple uh, people we know are big bourbon drinkers, so I'd like to see their take on this. Right. Um, on this whistle pig. So nice. All right. I'd say that's a success. It is. It's it's really good. Yeah. I like it. All right. Um, thanks for joining us on this. Thanks for sitting through our slideshow <laughs> right. of our uh, excursion to Vegas for the F1. Um, let us know if you went. Last year, and let us know if you're going this year. We're not going to go this right. year since we already experienced it. Um, but um, we're going to try to go to another circuit. Yeah, and it costs a pretty penny. Yeah, but it's was, worth it. it it's not. worth it if you like. Oh yeah, if you like to watch the races, it's worth it. It was cool. I had a really good time. I learned a lot too. So right. it was awesome. All right, all right. Thanks, Amiga. We appreciate it, and we'll see you guys next time. Salud. Mm. Ooh, that I is like good. That.